Hi guys, Alex here. This is Blooming Rising TV. I'm joined by Elliot and Stephen. Now, there's been all sorts of talk about Pep Guardiola's preferred players, transfers like made. We are going to be trying to work out the starting 11 of Guardiola's team for the 2016 2017 season. So, starting in nets, who do we think is going to be Pep Guardiola's number one? Right, my team's going to be a bit odd, but I'm going to keep it very simple at the start. I think uh, Joe Hart is going to be England's uh, England's <laughs> England's number one, and Man City's number one. I think there's been a little bit of rumours about other keepers coming in, and probably one will come in by the time the season starts. But I think he'll still get the nod initially, and I think he's got, he's got everything to prove. But he'll rise to the occasion, in my opinion. So Hart's my keeper. All right, Stephen's gone for Joe Hart in goal for his eleven, his predicted eleven for Guardiola. Are you sticking with that? There's been a lot of talk about Ter Stegen and so on. Uh, yeah, it's sticking with Joe Hart. He had a terrible uh, time at the Euros. He was awful, but under Pep, I think maybe he could revamp it. I don't see him going anywhere. Joe Hart, number one for me. I mean, I want to say Joe Hart for my own eleven. I really, really do. You know, he's a, he's a fan favourite. He's a real hero. But I just think he doesn't have the distribution. It's always been his flaw, and I'm worried that Guardiola is going to replace him. So I'm going to regrettably, I'm going to say to Stegen, um, it's Wright. going to start and goal. Not Richard Wright. He doesn't make it this time. Maybe next season. <laughs> Maybe next season. So at, at the back, um, Elliot, are you going to go for four at the back? Are you going to go for three at the back? Are you going to go for five at the back? What formation are you going for your predicted eleven for Guardiola? Uh, four at the back. Yeah, I'll stick with four. All right. Okay. And Stephen, you're going four or three. Or five? Uh, three. Three at the back? Yeah. All right. I'm going to go I'm gonna go four, I think. Uh, but Elliot, left back then. I've got them written down on my phone here. <laughs> All right. <'Cause> the phone's <laughs> dying. Um, across the back, I, th I, I think I'll, I'll just do the whole four. I think Vinny will flourish under Pep, hopefully, in the first season. You would hope he would. Anyway, if it can keep him injury free is another thing entirely, isn't it? Which Pep has said himself he wants to keep him fit. Yeah. So we'll see what happens there. But I think if we're looking at the start of the season, I think you've got to see Vinny in there. Otamendi, I think, I've got him in my four. Uh, I've got Barkley Sanyu in there because I thought he played brilliantly in the uh, in the Euros. For your beloved yeah. France. Hey, uh, oui, oui. You know, uh, but um, I thought he was one of the only, well, him and Griezmann, uh, that really stood out in the French team. So I think Pep's seen that and uh, and, and he's going to want to play him. Um, Left back? Gail Clichy. Yeah. All right. OK, I'm liking the sound of that. I think for me, I'm going to go forward back as well, so I'll stick with that. I think Sanya as well, superb during the Euro, superb all season. I saw something in the Euro saying, oh, well, Sanya's rolled back the years, mate. He's been great for ages. Oh, like, so he's he's still, is yeah, you're right. Yeah. And, uh, centre back, again, I think Vincent Company. I can't see him going anywhere. Austin Endy, I thought, <clears> had a reasonable first season. You know, he had a little couple of wobbles at the start of the season, but generally got his stuff together. But all the John Stones rumours, if we are going to spend 50 yeah. million, I can't see us not starting John Stones. I'm going to say cliche at left back, just because I'm not seeing any rumours about a left back coming in. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see a Rodriguez come in and sort of yeah. take the baton, but I'm going to say cliche just because mid July when we're filming. So I'm going to go cliche, <laughs> company, Stones, Sanya. Yeah. You're going three at the back, Stephen. Talk me through it. Uh, it's, it's a weird one. I'll, I'll kind of give that. And it's probably going to be totally and utterly wrong, but I'm going to, you know, down my colours to the mass. It's going to be Vincent Company at the heart of defence for me. Um, it's going to be three centre backs, basically. I, I honestly think it'll be John Stones. I think he'll get there. Uh, John On Stones. the right hand side. Uh, or the uh, left hand side. Probably left hand side, yeah, uh, with uh, Company. And then this is my kind of little kind of curveball. I reckon he'll turn Jason Denier into this uh, dominating right centre back. And obviously, I'm biased with the whole you thing. But I think he'll like him. I think he'll see how he reads the game, uh, how intelligent he is. And he's obviously played it right back as well so he understands that side of the pitch very well so I think that'll be a back three of kind of youth and ball playing ability and Denai and Stones both bring that Man Otamendi might get a chance there but he probably will but that's what I would do and I think by the end of the season we would have seen personally I think Denai might have made a bit of an impression so he, that's my back three so. I know there's a lot of people who be very excited to see Denai get some game yeah, time yeah. whether he comes straight out of Turkish football into the Premier League as a starting player eventually, who knows eventually I reckon I think eventually so let's move into the midfield I'm going to go three in the middle uh, classic Guardiola but uh, Stephen Four. Four. Kind of thought a diamond kind of thing. It's a three-four-three three for me. So it's going to be uh, my midfield is going to be once again an odd one. Uh, I reckon, right? Uh, it'll kind of have players who can play uh, either side of the diamond that can get back as well and cover defensively. So we saw signs last season of Fernandinho actually playing on the right wing in the Carling Cup final when he played there in a the diamond and kind of did a job there. I think he'll end up being on the right of the diamond. Delph played left wing a few times. Yeah, yes. I think Fernandinho will be on the right side of the diamond. Um, then we'll have Gundogan uh, being the deepest of the uh, of, of the players he'll kind of be the one who dictates play there's no Yaya Torre in my team I think uh, it'll be Gundogan there the very odd shout and they've got very loud Roger <laughs> Seagulls behind trying to get in the formation but no uh, the left wing for me is actually Angelino 
I think eventually, not initially, but I think you'll, I think Pep will like him. I think you'll really enjoy how versatile he is. I think you'll put him on the left. He'll kind of act as a wing back in the four. It'll be about how he kind of covers all sides of the pitch and how intelligent intelligent he is on the ball. It probably won't happen, but I reckon you'll take a shine to him. And he's already rumours in the papers as well that he quite likes how he plays. And given the fact that he's like a young Jordi Alba as well, stylistically, and he's very good on the ball, I can see him kind of having uh, that side of the, of the pitch covered for City, um, acting as a wing back and getting forward well. And then. And De Bruyne uh, as the uh, attacking midfielder. So I've got Fernandinho, Angelino, Gundogan and um, Kevin De Bruyne as my odd midfield four. But, Blimey, you know. there's a big choice. You're going to go three in the middle as well, yeah. uh, Elliot. Now, how are your three lining up? Uh, I've not got Yaya in mind either, actually. <laughs> I changed it at the last minute um, just because, I don't know, Gundogan, it was, the, it was trying to fit Gundogan and Yaya in in the same team and wondering how I'm going to make that work. So I've ended up going with uh, with Gundogan, Fernandinho, and Tony Crows because I still think we'll get our man. I still th- I still think Tony Crows will is coming. I'm convinced. And I mean, watched him in the Euros to just to go back to that again. He was just terrific. His passing is off the scale. He's unbelievable. I would absolutely love to see him in the team, commanding that that uh, that midfield, doing the job that Yaya did, but with a lot more skill and pace. All right, nice one. So you're getting a uh, Gundogan and potentially Cruz in there. It's looking very exciting. I'm also going to go for Gundogan in the the heart, the, the the beating heart, the sort of almost the engine room. I'm going to put Fernandinho on the one side, and I'm going to put Fernando on the other. I'm with you boys. I, I can't see Yaya getting into a uh, getting into a pep, pep side, especially with the players available to him. And I think he will like the two ferns. I think he likes players who do as they told, players who are sensible enough to pass the ball when they're supposed to, but players will put the work in and get back and do the dirty work as well. Um, Although, like I said, it's mid-July, someone could come in and Fernando might look like a ridiculous choice. So let's move on then to the front three, Elliot. I'll come to you first. Um, De Bruyne, Silva, Aguero. All right. I'm sticking with them. I'm sticking. With, I, I don't see Nolito getting a, getting a, that much game time, particularly. I know we were having a conversation before about this notion. You may well have him in your team, of him sort of sitting in as a false nine behind uh, behind Sergio. But I just don't see. I don't see that happening at the start of the season. That seems like a lot of work. What Pep's doing with the team, uh, formation-wise, behind closed doors, I haven't the faintest idea. But I can't see him not playing De Bruyne. I can't see him not playing David Silva. I want to see what he can do with David Silva because David Silva had such an off-season uh, under Pellegrini last season. It was pretty dreadful, really. I'd love to see what Pep can do with him. So I'd like to see him, De Bruyne, and I don't think you can do without Silva being up front. All right. Well, I'm going to chip it out. I think three as well. Someone here, Sergio Aguero at the top. I can't, I can't see anyone yeah, turning yeah. Aguero down. On the right-hand side, Kevin De Bruyne was instrumental and one of the standout players not just for City but in the league last season coming off that right hand side just being so De Bruyne about everything <laughs> now, on the left hand side I'm going to put Nolito in and the reason I put Nolito in he was given the number 9 shirt now one of the reasons that I think we signed him and he's sort of come out of nowhere is that Celta Vigo have played him as a false 9 now the false 9 of course was not invented by Pep Guardiola but certainly brought to the forefront it's a position that he loves to play and it's one of the easiest that Aguero missed Negredo. Aguero has been a phenomenal player, but his partnership with Negredo was outstanding. And I think with Nolito coming in, I think with Kelechi being just ever so slightly left-sided and a player that Pep has spoken very highly of, if Kelechi doesn't go out on loan or anything and stays the season, I think it's going to be very hard for Silva to get a game time. And even though he just seems everything like a Pep player and he's sort of Iniesta-like in his play, I'm just not sure that we're going to see as much of David Silva as maybe we hoped. And I, I, I say that through sort of teary eyes almost. <laughs> so Stephen, I'm going to come to you to finish off your 3-4-3. Yeah. Uh, three, three. I mean, I couldn't agree less about the Silver thing. Personally, I think Silver will be a massive instrumental part yeah. of how uh, Pep lines up. Um, I think he'll be uh, hugely influential. For that for reason alone, he's one of my three forwards. Um, I think it won't be necessary. I can give someone a side, but I don't think Pep's that rigid. I think these players go wherever they want in the final third, as long as they kind of hold the shape when they get back defensively. Uh, for me, I'm going to put Silva initially on the left. Um, I think Nolito would have been there, yeah, potentially, because uh, also obviously he likes to play left cutting or whatever scores goals. But I'm going to have Silva there. I think um, he'll be there for me, creating chances, drifting into midfield like he always does anyway. Uh, I don't think he needs to be in the middle to make the most of his abilities. Aguero is the man through the middle. Kalechi's not uh, ready yet. Um, but that's that's my decision. And then I reckon I still think we'll sign Leroy Sane. Um, I think it'll happen. I think he's uh, just he's kind of give. He just needs his word. By the time you're watching this, it might have already happened. Who knows? Yeah. But Sane, I think will come. I think Stones and Sane are the two guaranteed ones for me. I think they're top of the list. And I can see Sane being uh, used quite a lot. 
I think Pet will like his direct ability. He had over 100 dribbles last year in the Bundesliga, more than anyone else. So he will run at people with pace. Um, he'll offer that youthful enthusiasm he wants. And if it doesn't happen, I can see them being the lead to War Sterling uh, in the role. So I'm fine with that. But yeah, I just want a youthful team. I think Pep eventually will evolve the team to be full of energy, full of um, bright ideas, full of kind of zest and enthusiasm and players that will kind of bend to his you know, form how he wants them to play. So that's my team. It's a mad one, very odd attacking formation. But I think eventually the team will evolve into something like that. Not maybe straight away, but over the course of time. I'm just, oh, sorry, I just, uh, it just cemented my idea that when you're saying, you know, Sterling's got to play out on that left as yeah. well. And if Sane comes in, I'm just, I worry that so it's going to be Silver. the axe for David Silva. Yeah. But we could sit here and talk about it all day. <laughs> You've seen our 11s. We'll put those on the screen for you to work your way through. Let us know in the comments your predicted 11. And David Silva is going to be in. Elliot reckons we're bringing in Tony Cruz. Stephen predicts a bright future for Angelino. All the thoughts in the comment <laughs> box, it's there for a reason. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. We've definitely enjoyed making it. And if you're new to Blooming Rising TV, make sure you subscribe. See you next time, Blues.